my computer. Okay, that's what I want. <laughs> Sorry, all the recording things. Um, okay, I want to, because you are just flying through these pieces. So we are going to write, you're going to write your own song. I'm doing that. Ooh. So own... it, okay, hold on, let me zoom in. It is so, so chill. Play composer. It's your turn to experiment with thirds. So remember that all the pieces you just played with, for me, they were all, the notes were skipping, right? A C to an E or an E to a G. Sometimes they were played at the same times. Sometimes they were one after another, right? So remember there are two types of thirds. So number one here, you have skips played one after another, like I just said, or stacks like where they're stacked on top of one another. Write a piece using only skips, tracing either the C, E, or G below. Make sure the notes you trace from one beat to the next are a third away. Okay, so, okay. and then you're gonna play me what you wrote. Ooh, you get to write your own music. Oh, yeah. Cool. So right. then you also, so this is the tricky part because I can't see what you're drawing, but, um, Keep in mind, sometimes if you color in the whole note, if you color it in black, it's one beat. Remember, it's one. If you leave it white, but you put a stem, that's going to be two beats. Wait. Following that? Am I writing the notes or the letters? So what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to trace. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you on my book. Are those <laughs> my glasses are those letters yes. no you don't play you don't put letters on a staff right? no, so you're actually going to trace the notes because uh, you want to write your own look let's see your own song okay. you're going to decide whether they are i'm going to look and show you on notes like those sure. like you're going to decide okay. when you write okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to show you brandon i'm going to give you an example Okay. Um, uh, let me go into my library, into Cascade Books. Let's go find Note Match here. Here. Okay. Can I show you what I'm talking about? You want to look at what I'm doing? Okay, look. Okay, look here. So, for example. Yeah, I'm already starting. Are you sorry? So, if you did this, right? and you didn't color anything, you can't do anything else because this is a whole note and that counts for four beats. Okay, but what if you did that? That's two beats, right? So you can't do anything here, but you can, you could do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or I, this was me doing all the notes, but you could do like one, two, and then just a C and then an E like that. That's oh, yeah. happening. Then you could do a C and a G and you can color it in. So many options. So that's a quarter note. One, you could do the same thing four times, right? There's so many different, the options are endless. So a little tricky because you have to think of rhythm and you choose what notes you want to do. So you try, you do the first line, and then you're going to show me. I want to see what you did, okay? Okay. Now I'm going to do. Okay, I'm done. All right, let me see your song. I want to see. Show it to Oh, yeah, you want to play it first and then show me, or you want to show me first? Whatever you want to do. I'll play it first. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, 
分享。Okay. You got it. Breathe. There's yes. No problem. Good. Can I see it? How you wrote it? Okay. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then one, two, three. Yeah. This. Four. Yep. That's a whole note. This is my one, and this is my second one. Yeah, that you actually did. You played the right rhythm too. Did you do a next line or it was just that? I just did this. Okay, let's hear that again. You played the right rhythm though. I'm really proud of you. Okay, I'll play this again. Yeah, play the whole line again and then you're gonna write your second line. Okay. And so count to four with your first one. One, two, three, four, because you did a whole note. Yeah, okay. I did that wrong. Okay, Tony. Good. Your first one though, I can't. You, you did you put a stem or no stem? No stem. I no just stem. Okay, so it is a whole note. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's write write out a write out your second line. Okay. The second treble clap. Yeah, I only wrote, I only have options for the treble class. Okay. Yeah. I figured it'd be a little bit much to, oh, it's because in the in no matchbook, I didn't introduce bass clef by this point yet. Just trouble. Oh, some coloring in. We have some quarter notes going on in there. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's hear it. Play it, and then you'll show me. These are just the bottom one. Let me hear just the bottom one for now. Nice. Okay, let me see how you drew it. Come show me. Da, da, chord, C, full chord. Okay, so your full last chord. Do you see how you just need to fix that? So that one you're gonna have to color it in. That's gonna have to be a quarter note. So you don't have space to do two beats. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just at the super end, just turn those, color those in, turn them into quarter notes, and it's perfect. And you wrote your whole first composition with CEG. All right, now so I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna practice, the whole thing. I'm gonna practice the bottom line once and then the top line, and then I'm gonna play both. Sounds perfect. Go, keep going. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, so your last one is one, one, two, one, I think, right? Yeah, one, two, one, one two, one, one, two, one. Yeah. Okay. okay. You got this. Good, there it is. Okay, you wanna practice your first line again and then do the whole thing together? Good. Okay. Whole piece. Yay! Good job, Brandon. That is your first big composition with real notes. That's really cool. Okay. Let's go 
here and here and here and okay let oh the juggling one um let's do the falling leaves let me hear that one falling leaves oh okay all leaves <laughs> On your last line, you counted three, one, two, three, one, two, but the second line you did four instead of three. So make sure you only do the three smushies. Wait. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Do you have little markers? Is your top number note a C? Yeah. That's not a C. That's not a C. Play a C. The second line is the highest note. That, you know, that, the last line that is, is that's a D. A B. Is, is That's it, a B. No. Why is it, no, that's a, last note of the piano is a C. Uh, this is a oh, B. This okay. is a C. Okay, Grammy's wrong. Grammy's wrong. Yes. It's a easy. secret easy. C. Got it. Do, just... <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. easy. okay, do you have a little marker? Because we uh, are going to color in the dynamics. You see here? Um, um, orange. Yeah, the F, the P. Yeah, the... yeah. So go, go get some markers. And we're going to color this in orange or mezzo. Oh, me, it's yeah. So, color, yeah, color your dynamics. And then we're going to try it with the dynamics. I can't remember what you chose for. What are the dynamics? Um, the MF, the P, the MF. The dynamics, like the volume of the, of the it's like the volume. Do it. Do it. Am I coloring in everyone? Yep. So you have four different ones. You have two mezzo fortes, which means medium loud, and then two soft ones. Mm. Okay, he's done. Okay. He's done. okay. So now I want you to play the whole piece again. The first line you're gonna do kind of loud, da 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 da, and then you're gonna go really soft, da 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 da, really soft. And then, so, can you do it even softer? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so now do do it from the top. Start. I want the first line to be mezzo forte. And now very soft. soft, soft, whisper like you're whispering. Even softer, even softer. Oh, and a G. Do you play a C or a G? I play a. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's a G. It's a uh, yeah, high G. Perfect. Now mezzo forte, so medium loud, third line. Da -da. Stop, 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 stop. Matthew, stop. Brandon, she said stop. Uh, no, no, not, not stop. Softer. Yes. Soft. soft. What is the softest you can play? Oh, that was really soft. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> can you between those two? Oh, there you go. That's really soft. Yeah, nice job. Good. Yes, Brandon. So good. Okay. Um, do you see your sister's purple book somewhere? Um, yep. What's oh, your favorite? Um, I can't. I don't think I gave. Did I give you one, or did you get one in your little package, or no? Um, no. This is the piano. Oh yeah, because you got you got the beginner book. Okay. I want you to look through that book because I think you are ready for a bigger piece and I kind of want to put 
maybe start one of those. And I also, you are just picking up notes so well that I think we should pick up a piece with notes that's a little bit harder that we work on more long term, but like a fancy, cool, show off piece for the recital in two months. Okay. And and are you gonna give him suggestions or do you want us yeah. to find? I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna find something for the, the notes, but I just want him to scan through this book right now and see right, right. Heart and soul looks so weird. Because heart soul is a duet. You know what would be super cute for heart and soul? You and your sister should play one together. Oh, <gasps> no, I know. You guys need to, oh my gosh. I know what we're doing. It's going to be a side thing. Go, go scroll through it. It's called Duet in A Minor. Uh, towards the back, yeah. It's like a blue one. You'll see. And that one has real notes next to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you and your sister are going to learn this together. It's literally, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let me show you what. Oh, oh. This is great. Oh my gosh. Watch, watch. Okay, this will this will just be a side thing. You'll you'll do some solo pieces, but this is what you and your sister, if you learn this and play it together, this is what it'll sound like. You'll literally have everyone crying when you play this together. Yeah. So you would learn the top part. You would learn this. And it's so pretty. Right? Is that the, is that the one with the, the primo? Yep. He would do primo and I would teach Lauren this part. Oh. Wait, so how do you say it's B B A G F E D C B A G F E D C B. Let's start that one next time. Unless you, unless you want to figure it out. But I was going to say, because I want you to do a piece where you would do a solo thing that you're excited to play. But wait, wait, one, okay, wait. Let, me, let me just show you what, how Listen that one works. So the CC, do you see how there's big notes and then there's tiny notes? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me get my students to go full books. But which one is it? Is it like the? Yep, she's gonna tell you. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I wanted to get. I'm getting the the page. Um. Okay. So, uh, where is it? One second. Extra slow. Okay. So you're gonna start on. You're gonna start on the C. That's like two octaves under the highest one. So this one. Can you play that one for me? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so that's your left hand. Do your left hand with that C. And then your right hand is going to C higher. The higher C. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. All the tiny little C's that you see, those are the, the high one. Okay. okay it goes. Do that. Do C, C. Now bring your left hand really, really close to the C. And you're just going to B, A. Yeah. And you alternate with the high C. Yeah, but bring bring your left hand close to your right hand after. That's exactly it, Brandon. But after you do the first C, look, 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 look. After you do the first C, I want you to come kiss your come kiss your hand. It's right next to each other, like this. C C right next to it. It's oh. C, C, and then right next to it. So I'm going to do like. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Perfect. Now, now, wait, wait, wait. Now, once you get, once you get to C, C, I want you to shift both hands down to B, and you do the same pattern. B, B. Look at this. See, that was the first time you did. Now you're at this line. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So I will, I will let you figure out that and play with that this week. I want you to find another piece in this book that you would have fun with. There's like Star Wars. I feel there's like guy, cool boy pieces in here. But it doesn't have to be a boy piece either. I know that's like. Um, but find something you like in this book. And then I'm going to find you a, a little bit of a harder piece 
than the stuff in the note matchbook because you are understanding notes so fast. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay, great job, Brandon. And you have lots of filming to do for me this week. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.